Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Ajay and in today's tutorial we are going to see what exactly is a network topologies and the different types of topologies we are going to go through. So what exactly is a network topology? Now network topology in simple words you can say that it simply means the way to way the computers and uh, other devices are connected with each other okay the way the computers are connected with each other and how they are communicating with each other and their communication channels okay in simply it means that how the computers are connected and what exactly or how they are transmitting the data or receiving the data from the other computer okay so that's the network topology it will be more clear to you once we just go through the different types of topologies okay now the simplest form of topology is a point to point topology now point to point means there will be just one pc and, and another pc and simply we will connect that one pc with the another pc with the help of a cable so the two pcs are connected with each other with the help of a single cable that's it so this kind of topology is called as point to point topology okay so if you see in this topology the computers are directly connected with each other and the data transmission is very fast why the data transmission is fast because there is a direct connection from one pc to another pc okay there is no medium in between the two okay so the data transmission between the two computers will be very fast so this is one of the simplest form of topology which is called as the point to point topology okay now let's move for, uh, further okay now let's understand what exactly is a bus topology in a bus topology what we do is we are going to take a cable wire okay and with that single cable wire we are going to connect the computers like i connected these two computers with that main cable so this will be our main cable wire and with this wire with this main cable all the other computers are connected so let's have some more computers and you can see that we have so many computers connected with the help of this main cable now everything is fine but uh, the thing is in this kind of topology all the computers are connected with the main cable and what if this main cable goes something goes wrong with this cable okay so if this main cable fails or there is some issue with the cable then what will happen is the entire network will fail now there is no way that any computer can communicate with the other computer okay there is no medium now because there was one single cable that was the main cable and now th since that cable has failed so obviously the entire network is going to get affected okay so that's the disadvantage of having a bus topology but this is very simple to implement this kind of network topology and so if you have a very small requirement in a very small area with few computers in that case you can have this particular topology because the less the area and the less the computer the less wiring you require and if there is a less area and less wiring the chances are that the wire will not fail okay so that's the advantages and disadvantages of having a bus topology now let's move to the next topology that is the star topology star as it sounds it will be it will form a kind of a star kind of structure okay so let's have some pieces so these are the you know around five pieces and you can see a star kind of structure and you can also see that there is one main computer so in this particular topology what happens is all the computers are connected to the main server computer so there will be one particular computer which will act or which is the server machine and this particular server machine provides the services to all the other client machines so this will be called as the client machine 
or the nodes that are connected to the server machine. Also, you can see that there is a point-to-point -point, uh, connection between the server and the other computer. So this computer is connected to the server, okay? And then this is connected to the server and hence forth all the other computers are also connected to the server and there is one point-to-point -point connection as you can see point-to-point -point connection okay now everything uh, is good seems good and for example if this particular cable goes wrong like at uh, this particular computer is connected to the server and if this cable goes wrong now there is no communication right so this computer is out of the network but still there is a network that is still communicating with each other right still there are around four pcs which are in network so that's the advantage of having a star topology as compared to the bus topology where the main cable if that failed so all the network the entire network failed but in this case if one of the cable goes wrong still we will have the rest of the network okay so that's the advantage what is the disadvantage the disadvantage is what if this main server machine fails in that case the entire network will fail right so that is the advantages and disadvantage of having a star topology okay now let's move further and let's have the ring topology as it sounds the ring the word ring so we will definitely have a ring kind of structure. Let's have some pieces and then let's have this ring. So these computers are connected with each other, okay, with the help of one single cable. Now again, a one single cable is being used. And you can say that every PC in this kind of topology is connected to Two other PCs like this particular computer is connected to this one and this one and similarly it is the same case for every other computer right even this computer is connected to this to the adjacent computers I mean to say right so every computer is connected to other two computers so all the computers are connected in circular manner and each computer is connected to exactly two other computers now looks good but the same case the same uh, situation if we uh, if we take what if the cable goes wrong so if the cable goes wrong so obviously the network is going to fail and the most uh, and one of, one of the more worst situation suppose one of the pc goes down for example i just this pc goes down now there is no communication there is no pc okay over here so assume that there is no wire and there is no PC since you are just watching that wire but assume that there is no wire what will happen if one of the PC goes down so obviously this channel communication channel is going to break and so this particular network cannot communicate with each other okay so that is one of the biggest disadvantage of having a ring topology there are two situations either the wire or either one of the PC goes down then the entire network is going to fail understand it okay so that's the ring topology for you and then let's move further what exactly is a tree topology now in tree topology we have one main server okay this is the main server and from that server comes the main cable okay and from that main cable we will have the other computers attached and that is in form of in a ring topology can you see this is exactly the ring topologies so this main server will transmit the data to the sub server you can say okay and this also goes to this one to the main uh, the other sub server and from here then it provides the services to its clients machine this is exactly the star topology so it's the combination of bus topology why bus topology because everything is connected to the main server with the help of the main cable so that's the feature of bus topology and then the sub network okay the sub network is in the form of a star topology so it has the feature of both 
okay so all computers are connected through a linear cable through one particular cable and it has a sub network topology in form of star topology so the same scenario we will have over here if the main cable fails the entire network is going to go down but uh, this kind of uh, network topology we implement where we have a firm and we want that all the networks okay all the labs or all the um, you know yeah all the computer labs maybe it has and we want that all the computer lab should now get into one main server or there should be one main server which provides services to all the other uh, labs or all the other sub networks so in that case we can have the tree topology but the disadvantage is if the main cable goes down then it is going to affect all the other sub networks okay so that's the main disadvantage of having a tree topology okay so that's the tree topology now let's move further okay now let's have the mesh topology this is one of the best topology that we can have why is because in this particular network every computer is connect connected to every other computer for example this particular pc is connected to this one to this as well and to this one also isn't it similarly all the other pcs are connected directly to the other pcs in the network now this is a very simple diagram and it looks very simple but this is not that simple as it looks over here it is a bit complicated to implement this kind of topology and obviously the costing of such a topology is very high so in this every single computer is connected to all other computers understand it and the data transmission is going to be fast since every computer is directly connected to every other computer so there is no other channel that there, there is no medium that the data gets transmitted they are getting the data gets transmitted directly from one pc to the another pc and that's the biggest advantage okay also one of the most important i would say the advantage is okay what if one of the cable goes down for example let's have this cable going down like this is this pc can directly communicate to this one right with this particular cable what if that goes down even if this goes down can this pc still communicate with this pc yes it can communicate it has many other ways and many other channels it can go through here and then to this particular pc or through this pc also it can directly communicate to this particular pc indirectly yes the data gets transmitted now indirectly through a medium but still the network doesn't fail none of the pc goes down. even if the cable goes down the net the entire network is still working all the pcs are still in the connection right what if this particular line or this particular cable goes down right now can this pc still communicate with this pc yes yeah, still there is one communication channel that is it can directly go to this pc and from this pc then finally to the to the pc that it wants to it wants to communicate isn't it so that's the biggest advantage of having a mesh topology okay but as i said this is not that easy to implement it is a bit complicated and also the overall costing of such kind of topology is quite high this is just a simple diagram as i said but imagine there is a big firm and then you have to have a mesh topology where all the pieces there are around 200 pieces and 200 pieces are getting connected with each other directly it's not that easy to implement isn't it so but the data transmission is very fast and there is a very less chance that the network will go down okay so that's the biggest advantage of having a mesh topology so i hope all the topologies are very much clear to you so if you feel that you have achieved something from this particular tutorial you you have gained some knowledge from this particular tutorial do subscribe to my channel okay that's it for today Bye for now.